You have carefully allocated risk in contract drafting by requiring the other party to carry insurance. The contract is executed. Now what? Unfortunately, it is rare that the required insurance and the contract share the same timeline. The risk is that an uncovered event occurs during gaps in coverage. The contract provides you with recourse against the other party, but the gap in the other party's coverage hinders your ability to recover. To deal with this risk, it is important to track insurance certificate due dates independently of contract due dates. Contract management spreadsheets often cannot bridge this risk management gap. Only contract management software that provides post-execution risk management support can bridge the gap. To ensure that the other party maintains coverage throughout the entire term of the contract, you need to do the following. 1. Identify the period of the contract that the other party must maintain insurance. This is usually the entire length of the contract, but there might be circumstances where the coverage is only required for a specific period or under certain conditions. 2. Configure your contract management software with the insurance metadata you want to track. At a minimum, you should track the insurance carrier, the policy number, the coverage limits, and the expiration date of the coverage. 3. Set automatic alerts or scheduled reports to notify you of impending expirations so you do not have to remember to schedule alerts for each certificate. 4. Log the first insurance certificate. Capture the metadata you want to track and store the insurance certificate document with the contract record. 5. Use alerts to follow up with the other party in advance of coverage lapsing. Repeat step 4 for each certificate. This process allows you to prevent gaps in insurance coverage that you bargained for during the contract negotiation. Contract management promises to become an important part of risk management and compliance. Careful certificate tracking fulfills that promise.